Welcome to Independent Solutions. Today we'll be going through how to replace a hard drive in an RP3. First thing we want to do is to remove the top plate. To do this we need to unscrew this thumb screw at the back of the RP3. Then put your hand on the top plate and push it to the back of the RP3 to remove it. Now that the top plate has been removed we need to remove the face plate. To do this we need to lift up three tabs on the front of the RP3 and pull it away from the chassis. The hard drive is located on the front part of the RP3's chassis as seen on screen. To remove it, you need to push past the hard drive as there is a metal tab on the front plate of the chassis that will free up the hard drive. Once done, you can push the hard drive to the side to remove it from the chassis altogether. Once you have the hard drive caddy free, unplug the data and power cable from the drive. Then pull back on the tab of the caddy and you'll be able to slide the hard drive out. Once you have the new drive, put it into the caddy the reverse of how we removed it. Plug the power and data cable back in and put it back into the front mount of the RP3's chassis. At this point we start reassembling the parts of the box we took apart, starting with the face plate which clicks into place. From there it's the top plate. Keep in mind it will sit flat with a bit of a gap for you to push the plate back in. Once done, tighten the thumb screw on the back of the RP3. Thank you for watching. If you require further assistance, please contact us via email at support at independentsolutions.com.au or call us on 1800 020 946. Did you hear that Independent Solutions now does live webinars? For more information, click the link on screen now.